Hello, artists. Welcome back to another Art Life Conversations podcast. I am your host, Kelly Folsom. And today, I'm super excited because in this video, we're going to be talking about how to shift your energy. How to shift your energy so that you can get more done, accomplish more, have more success, and really just be happier in your life okay so at the end of this video i'm going to be giving you my simple three step process that i use to shift my energy um, whenever i am needing to do that whenever i'm just in the weeds or down for too long and need to get unstuck right why why is it important for us to uh, shift our energy in the first place right or you could say shift our mood you know shift our emotions um, however you want to word that i call it shifting my energy um, well why that's important and why it's important to solve that problem is sometimes we get into a pattern of repeating the same energy, right? And being maybe stuck in the same energy for hours, for days, for weeks at a time. And depending on, you know, obviously here we're speaking of like, like a low energy state or like a stuck energy state, obviously trying to get over to the other side, which is a higher energy state or just something that's more positive um, and serves us better, right? So as an artist, there are, or just as a human being, but let's just say as an artist, uh, perhaps you are having, you're stuck in a low energy state. You're not feeling inspired to go to the easel and to paint, for example. Maybe you are um, finding it very difficult to send out that email newsletter, right, to your collector list, or to reach out to that person that you know you need to reach out to, um, to, um, you know, line up the next opportunity, right? So there are a lot of different scenarios in which, depending on the energy that we're in, will kind of determine whether or not we take that action, right? So we have emotions and thoughts and which kind of create our mood and therefore our energy, right? And then from that, you know, we take actions. And really, I believe the um, energy that we are in, and one of my mentors is always saying this, is that the energy, you know, with which you create determines the outcome of those actions. So sometimes we try to like force our way through, um, say the, the stuck energy state, or maybe we're trying to do things out of like scarcity mentality or out of fear, and we try to force an action. Um, and really that's not going to yield a great result Anyway, you know, I am definitely in favor of like taking action anyway, <laughs> uh, rather than not taking action because I feel like not taking action, like procrastinating and avoiding because you feel bad, all that does is kind of, you know, basically just chip away at your self-esteem, at your confidence, at your integrity in yourself, where it kind of takes away from the trust that you have in yourself. So I'm a huge fan of taking action and I would rather see you and me take action from a better place. Now, this is not to say that, you know, our feelings are not valid and that we shouldn't feel them. Um, I have really learned this year, like not to resist my feelings and resist my emotions. So obviously if there's something really, you know, big that's going on or something small, it's like, yes, process those emotions, go through those things and really feel them all the way and not to shame ourselves for them. Stop beating yourself up, please. I, I'm still working on this myself, right? Like it doesn't do any good to beat ourselves up, but you know, to feel those things without judgment um, and without attachment, right? So um, I think one of the biggest things that I have learned in, in this great experiment of being human <laughs> and being an artist is like just not attaching to um, the emotion, trying not to attach to the emotions or the thoughts um, to realize like I am not my emotions. I am not my thoughts, right? I am a human being having an experience here on this planet and I have thoughts and I have emotions, but that's not who I am. Okay. So 
Um, you know, so why I, you know, why am I the expert? I don't know. <laughs> um, I have had to learn to, to shift my energy a lot. Um, especially like the, um, the, the high, the more growth you want to have, right? The more success you want to have, the more it's going to require you to make some changes, right? Um, we can't do those things that we're setting out to do unless we grow and unless we evolve, and unless we change. And really a lot of times the things that are shifting is our belief system, our thoughts, our energy. We're learning how to, to manage our um, energetic state, so to speak, so that we can um, do the hard things, right? So that we can show up as the best, highest version of ourselves. So I'm going to use, um, I have, a, like, as I promised, I have a three-step process for this um, that's super simple and everybody can do it at any time. Um, you don't even need pen and paper. It's just like a mental check-in, right? And an intentional shifting of your energy. Because um, I don't know about you, but sometimes, sometimes I can feel like I'm just going from one thing to the next. And then maybe I'm finding myself in like a low, low mood or low energy state. And maybe I don't really know why, you know, but it's really affecting my day and I'm feeling disconnected, distracted, maybe anxious, maybe overwhelmed, you know, maybe in fear all of the sudden is like, wait, what happened? Like two hours ago, I was in a great mood and like kicking ass and taking names, right? So this can happen at any time for anyone. Um, it's totally understandable. All of us get stuck in the weeds. All of us have, um, you know, lose that perspective, that, that, that greater, bigger picture perspective. And so um, it's just a common everyday issue. I think that the majority of us face, some of us maybe are dealing with it more frequently um, than others. So there's just a simple three-step process. And I'm going to use a specific example because um, I noticed recently like, oh, all of a sudden I realized, oh, you know, I'm really not in the holiday spirit mood. Like I'm just not feeling it. Like I just haven't connected to that yet. And there's just, there's been a lot going on in my life. A lot of struggles, you guys, gosh, so between my business, between, you know, of course me, I'm always pushing myself to grow more, learn more, um, become a better version of myself. And with that comes a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles and a lot of kind of bumping up against hard stuff internally, you know, that's not always easy to face. Um, and then traveling back and home, twi back and forth to home to Oklahoma this month, you know, my uncle had an incredibly severe stroke. He was in a coma. That was just like, you know, a total interruption in, in the, the weekly plan, the monthly plan, the daily plan of life. And it was very difficult, you know, it was difficult to experience all of that. And then to go there and to experience the intensity of all of the emotions of being there with him, you know, for, for four or five days, um, hearing everything that the doctors are saying, um, not knowing if he was going to, you know, die or not. It's just a lot of intensity, right? So this just happened a couple of weeks ago. And then I had already had another trip back home plan for this past weekend um, to celebrate an early Thanksgiving with my family and also to throw my baby sister a baby shower. So I've kind of felt a little bit like, you know, like Steve Martin in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, where you're just like, ah, uh, you don't know which end is up. You're just going all over the place. And um, yeah, and so it's been stressful and it's been physically tiring um, and strenuous, right? Um, on all levels, like physical, emotional, spiritual, mental. Um, and it's it's been a lot. It's been a lot, you guys. Um, on top of the things I was already dealing with in my business this year, I'll share more about that uh, with you at a later date. But uh, needless to say, there's there's just been a lot of challenges this year. And I'm sure you probably can relate. Like, it seems like a lot of people are just having a tough you know, for lack of a better word, shitty year this year. Um, a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles. So 
I was not feeling like in the Christmas spirit. And whenever I came home from this last trip, first of all, I was immediately filled with gratitude as soon as I stepped through the front door because I thought, okay, hopefully this is the last, you know, trip um, for the rest of the year. And I can just be at home and be in my beautiful space and my beautiful home and um, focus and kind of get back to equilibrium or some sort of normalcy in my in my schedule and in my life. So I immediately felt like this gratitude. And um, the first step in the process uh, in shifting our energy is really just awareness, okay? Awareness of how we're feeling. So just right now, I invite you just to pause, you know, and check in and just to ask, you know, whatever the situation is for you, it might not be the holiday season for you or the holiday spirits for you. Maybe it's like, you're avoiding um, painting, right? Or you're avoiding working on the things in your art business that you know you should be working on, right? You know it would be good for you to do that. So just pause and check in and ask like, how am I feeling about this? You know, what is it that I'm feeling? Am I feeling disconnected? Am I feeling anxious? Am I feeling frustrated? You know, um, Whatever that is, just checking in and bringing a, a level of awareness to it. Because so often we're in kind of this autopilot mode, right? And a lot of times we're just ignoring the undercurrent of that, that energy, the undercurrent of those emotions and thoughts that are running under the surface. And we just keep going, 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 you know, and um, that doesn't change anything. And then it actually leads to more overwhelm and anxiety and even burnout. So just taking a moment, just to pause, you know, and check in. I like to do hand on heart and just ask, you know, what is it that I am feeling right now? Okay. And then the next thing is really just to feel that and just acknowledge that, you know, without, again, without beating yourself up, beating ourselves up, um, just acknowledging it like, oh, this is the energy that I'm in right now. This is the feeling I'm in right now. And then the next thing is really to set your intention, you know, of how it is that you would like to be feeling like what, um, what energy level would you like to be having right now? Right. And so just check, setting that intention, acknowledging like, this is, this is how I would like to feel. This is what I would like to, um, feel like or the energy that I would like to be in for the remainder of the day, right? And then last and then I like to visualize that, right? Like what are the things I can do for the remainder of the day to be in that energy state? Not that a low energy state is bad and wrong or a higher energy state is is good. It's not about right and wrong, good and bad. It's really just about one energy state is going to serve you better in terms of like um, coming from a place of service um, for whatever it is that you need to show up and do in your life. And um, it's just going to serve you better, right? So again, it's not about right or wrong, good or bad or any of that. Um, so just um, acknowledging and then setting the intention of, you know, what you would like to move towards, what energy you would like to move towards. And then just checking in, like, how, how can I do that? How can I shift my energy now? For me, gratitude is a huge um, part of this. And not even just gratitude, but like planning ahead, thinking ahead of, all the things that I would um, like to experience and how I would like to experience them and really, really imagining it fully and really um, a feeling the feelings that that I want to feel, right? So for example, just give you a practical example with Yesterday, I was realizing, oh, I'm I'm totally not in the holiday mood. I just haven't connected to that yet. Meanwhile, there's like Christmas lights being put up outside. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up next week. Um, and so what I did is I just started making a list. Here's all the things that I'm looking forward to for the next six weeks of the year. Like here are the things I'm looking forward to enjoying this holiday season, right? And this is kind of a form of gratitude and visualization, right? Because you're connecting both to the things that you love. You're also like saying, look, we have things to look forward to. We have things in our life to enjoy, right? So I just started making a list, um, you know, 
um, decorating my Christmas tree, picking out my Christmas tree with Monty, making beef bourguignon for Monty this winter and hearing him go, mmm, that's so good, you know? So really the key is not just like as quickly as possible making out a list, but really, really feeling that experience, you know? And then also listing anything that um, maybe is not normally a tradition for you, but um, it's something that maybe that you're looking forward to or you want to do. So like I wrote down, go ice skating. You know, that's not something that Monty enjoys doing, but I could go do it on my own or I could invite a friend to go with me. Um, so it's also a way of you also unlocking um, the key to things that you are desiring to do, experiences you're desiring to have, right? Um, so this automatically, you know, lifts your mood, um, uh, shifts that energy state, right? All of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this holiday season. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, oh, hot cocoa, apple cider. Like it could be super simple things too, like sending out holiday cards, wrapping presents, like, oh, picking out the ribbon for this year, you know, simple things, simple pleasures that bring so much joy. Um, and of course you could do this for any situation. Um, so it's really just a matter of like, um, imagining, imagining, um, the things that you are looking forward to, um, that you can be excited about and anticipate, right? So that you can get out of whatever the thought weeds or, or energy weeds that you're currently in, that's like a low energy state that's making you feel stuck and just focus, you know, either on the past or, or too much on, you know, what's not working or too much on the problems and get you focused on like, wow, wow, I really have an awesome life. I really have so much to look forward to. It gets you planning for the future, looking ahead. And in doing so, you just get to shift that um, energy. And from there, like immediately, I would recommend that you do one thing that is on that list, right? So that you can physically embody that um, energy shift. So for me, it was like, okay, I'm ordering some apple cider, some pumpkin cinnamon rolls, because those sounded good. And, and those made me feel all gooey inside and ready for the winter and the holiday season and some hot cocoa, right? So it can be really simple things like that. Um, and immediately I was just like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm excited. I'm looking forward now to, um, the holiday season and celebrating this because I want to claim, uh, my own power back from that low energy state and, and those thought weeds, you know, that I was stuck in, <laughs> um, and, um, not be like in a victim state of mind around that. So all right, artists, I hope that this has been helpful to you today. Remember, obviously, you can use this for anything um, in your art practice, your painting practice, in your art business, or just in your personal life as well um, to shift that energy um, state. Okay, until next time, um, I'm wishing you all happy painting, and bye for now. <music>